Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to use a GFCI outlet tester. This will be a full tutorial, so let's get right into the video. Now you can get many different outlet testers, and this is just one example, and I actually have another outlet tester from Klein Tools that is a little bit more advanced with an LCD screen, but I chose to use this one for the video because it's the most simplistic version of the outlet testers that you can pretty much find on the market, and it's a really reliable brand, reputable source, so let's get right into the video. Now, essentially, you can use a GFCI outlet tester on a GFCI outlet or regular outlet. Now what you see here is a regular outlet, but it is protected by a GFCI somewhere else in the house, okay? So essentially, this is a regular outlet, but it has GFCI protection, okay? It's very, very easy to use. Essentially, you see all the codes here, and when you plug this into the outlet, it's going to tell you based on the colors of the of the lights that get, that get illuminated, what's going on with the outlet. So essentially, I'm gonna be plugging this into this regular outlet that is GFCI protected. Okay, so I'm gonna plug it in just like this. And when I plug it in, as you can see right there, it shows that the right two orange lights are illuminated and the left red light is not illuminated. So we have the right two orange lights being illuminated and the left red light is not illuminated. So when I pull it out and I see what that code means, when we have the right two orange lights illuminated, it means that it's correct. So we, you know, everything in there is correct. Now, the thing with these testers is that they tell you what is incorrect as well. So if an outlet is not functioning properly or you don't know if it's wired properly, you can see if it has an open ground, and this is just one example because maybe your GFCI outlet tester has different versions of the codes, but this is just one example. So you can see if it has an open ground, an open neutral, an open hot wire, okay? Hot and ground being reversed, hot and neutral being reversed or correct. In addition, if you are testing, if you wanna test the, the GFCI uh, on the outlet, the actual, uh, the actual like GFCI protection on the outlet, um, it says right here, push to check GFCI. So you can push this to check the GFCI. Now I will not be demonstrating that in this video because if I push it and I set off the GFCI that is upstairs, basically right above this outlet, I'm gonna have to go upstairs to reset it, to turn this outlet back on, okay? And I know for a fact that this outlet, uh, the GFCI in this outlet and this series of outlets that is connected to that same GFCI right above it on the floor above us right now, um, they work fine. I test my outlets all the time. I test my GFCI outlets pretty much once a month um, and I make sure that they all work. So I know they're working fine, but if you wanted to use it as a GFCI tester, you would plug it into a GFCI protected outlet and you would push the button and make sure that it trips. And that's basically it. Um, they're actually really easy to use and they show you exactly what's going on with the outlet and that's how to use them. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.